Yeah, uh, currently we're studying urban combat, especially for a Titan juncture. So I hope we're uh, really good by that time. Well, let me take the analogy of a football player. They're all superb. They have. Uh, a goalkeeper, they have strikers, but they have to form a team. And now when they come together, they need training to win next Sunday's match. The same is true for NATO. All the forces that will be deployed to Italy, Spain and Portugal are excellent national forces. But I have to bring them under the NATO umbrella because only when we train, then we can achieve a lot. It's a big involvement from the EU, from IOs, NGOs, World Vision, Red Cross, UN, African Union. So uh, we have engaged 12 organizations, uh, non-governmental organizations and uh, governmental organizations, and they participated. And the matter of fact is that whenever we are deployed, there will be people from the UN and the Red Cross before us, with us, and after us. So that is the reason why we have to train together. <laughs> This is a real valuable opportunity for NATO. NATO, quite frankly, has been focused on Afghanistan, rightly so, for the last decade or so. But we, in the maritime environment, are very used to operating with our, our NATO partners. Well, recently, of course, Mediterranean uh, as part of the op wheel. Good, good, good. Well, my, I think that we have an uh, important role in Trident Juncture. Um, we're armoured infantry and uh, we've got a pretty uh, high fire, firing power. And I guess we, uh, we've used that in Trident Juncture. Der Wache ein Bruch in Elf. Benga, Benga, starke Einschläge im Steuerbord.